In this module, we'll build a colorful kaleidoscope using mirrored surfaces to create complex, symmetrical reflections. Then we'll explore the math behind it by doing some cool things with mirrors and angles. Okay, so we're going to create the kaleidoscope using this tube. By the way, it's always a good idea to make this on your own before working with students. First, take your tube and mark one end A and the other end B. The B end is where you'll look through the kaleidoscope. The A side will be where you put the colorful objects that will create the kaleidoscope patterns. To get these, we need a template, so trace around one end of the tube on a piece of construction paper with a pencil, then cut out the circle to make your template. Now, use your template to cut out two circles from the transparency film. You can use a little bit of tape on the back of the template to secure it while you cut. You want the viewing hole to be right in the center of your paper circle. To find the center, fold the circle in half, then use a ruler to find the center of the circle and mark it with a pencil. Unfold the paper, then place the compass point on your center mark and draw a one centimeter radius. Refold the paper and cut along the line to make a hole in the center of the circle. Next, we're going to create a shelf to hold our colored objects in place. So we're going to need to make a transparent circle that will fit inside the tube. First, measure the inside of the tube using the compass. Do this by putting the ends of the compass just inside the ends of the tube and adjusting it so that the pencil and the metal point just barely touch the inside edges of the tube. Then carefully, without moving the points, transfer the compass to a piece of paper. The distance between the point and the pencil is the diameter of the circle you will need to cut out. Press firmly with the metal point and make a small mark with the pencil on the paper to leave two marks. Use a ruler to draw a line between the two marks, the diameter of your new circle. Find the radius by measuring to find the midpoint of the diameter. Place the point of the compass on the center mark. Put the pencil at the end of the radius and draw a circle. Cut out this circle, which is your template. Tape it on the transparency film and cut out the circle in the film. This will be your inside shelf. Now you need a couple of strips of cardboard to hold your shelf in place. Cut two strips of corrugated cardboard, 15 to 20 centimeters long and one centimeter wide. In some cases, you may need to make the strip longer depending on the circumference of your tube. Place a ruler two centimeters into the A end of the tube. Make a mark in the tube at the end of the ruler. Continue to make five more marks, all of them two centimeters in from the end of the tube. Roll the cardboard strip into a loose circle and insert it into the end of the tube marked A. Make sure the cardboard ring is snug and touches the tube all the way around. The ends will probably overlap, so mark the strip where the edges overlap and cut off the extra. You want to put some glue just under the pencil marks you made inside of the A end and insert the cardboard strip so that it covers the glue and the top edge just touches the pencil marks. Press it into place. Now put the small transparency circle into the A end so that it rests on the cardboard ring. Here's the fun part. What stuff do you want inside your kaleidoscope? We're going to use beads today. Consider using sequins, colored glass beads, anything that's colorful. Wrap the strip around end B of the tube. Hold it in place and make marks on the end of that tube, corresponding to the marks on the strip. Using these marks, measure the distance from one mark to another. The distance between any two marks should be equal. This measurement will be the width that each of your kaleidoscope mirrors will need to be. Insert a ruler inside end B until it touches the cardboard ring at the other end. Measure this distance. This will be the length of each of our kaleidoscope mirrors. So we're going to use three mirrors in our kaleidoscope. We just measured how long and wide to cut each mirror. Once you cut them out, place each strip mirrored side down, join them lengthwise, and tape them together. Stand the strips up and fold them in so that the mirrored side form the inside of a triangle. Put the mirrored triangle inside the tube. Use the protractor to measure the angle of the triangle and write this number down. We're going to have students explore what happens when you change this angle in a little bit. Let's get back to the kaleidoscope. Put some glue on the edge of the tube at the B end. Attach the paper circle with the hole in the center and cover it with the last large transparent circle. Your kaleidoscope is ready to use. Changing the Equation, after school math curriculum brought to you by Explora. Funding provided by Sandia National Laboratories. 
Find more Changing the Equation videos at explora.us slash changing dash the dash equation.